Hey there, it's Andrew Dombeck. I know it's been a long time since you've seen me last. Uh, you might not recognize me. I've got glasses on today. Don't normally wear glasses. Uh, nevertheless, today is the day that all the kitties get back to school. And you know what? All you stay-at-home moms have, and dads, I have uh, some clients that are stay-at-home dads, you now have extra time on your hands. What are you going to do with that extra time? Well, today is back to school lesson number one. You're going to get back out there and start exercising again. There's no excuses. The kids are gone. You have the house to yourself for a couple hours. Let's get back at it. So today, um, one of the things, a good way to get your body up in motion and everything like that is use a foam roller. We uh, prescribe using a foam roller with all of our clients that come through AID. Um, and a lot of people don't know how to use a foam roller. So today what I'm going to talk about is five areas that you do not, absolutely do not, I repeat, do not want to foam roller over. All right, number one. I know these may seem obvious, but you got to spell it out for some people. Number one is you don't want to foam roll over your face. You've got lots of little nerves and everything like that, and you can cause a lot of damage, paralysis. That's the last thing we need you to do is, hey, honey, I got back out to work and you know, working out and I got a facial droop. No, we don't want to do that. Area number two, the neck. No, that's a big no-no. You don't want to roll over the neck either. You've got nerves, but you also have got arteries and veins in there. We don't want any, uh, wind up with any uh, strokes or any other things because you've cut off the circulation to your head. That would be a no bueno. Uh, number three, you know, I know there's a lot of muscles. You have your lats that come through here. Um, your pecs go across the front. Um, but you really do not want to foam roll your armpit. That is a big no-no. Why? You have this thing called the brachial plexus. The brachial plexus is all the nerves coming from your neck down through your armpit. And that what they do is they innervate or control all the muscles uh, in your arm and hand. So that's the last thing you want to do is also... There's uh, is what they call the neurovascular bundle. So you also not only along uh, nerves, but you also have your artery and your vein that go through your armpit. So foam rolling in your armpit is a no-no. Same thing, we're going to cut off circulation. We're going to cause paralysis, numbness, and tingling in your hands and fingers. That is a big no-no. All right. Number four, if you've been paying attention, you do not want to foam roll over your stomach. I know you've got these core muscles, these abdominal muscles in there. Big, big, big deal. You've got your internal and external obliques. You've got your transverse abdominis. You've got your rectus. You know, you can strain these muscles, but you do not want to lay down on the foam roller on your belly. That is a big no-no. Why? What is in our belly? Our organs. You do not want to mess with your intestinal tract, your internal organs. That is a big no-no. Can you do it on your back? Yes. You know why? Your kidneys are protecting your, are, your kidneys are being protected by your pelvis, and you have much thicker muscle in the back than you do on the front. So it's okay to foam roll on your back. It's not okay to foam roll over your stomach. Number five. Number five, in case you can't see it. It's called the popliteal fossa. It's the back of your knee. That's another no-no. Just like your armpit, what goes through you there? Your nerve vascular bundle. You don't want to cut off the circulation or compress the nerves and create numbness and tingling in your feet. That can be a whole other issue. That is something that we do not want to do. So in summary, the five areas that you do not want to foam roller over is, number one, your face. You don't want to foam roll over your neck. You don't want to foam roll over your armpits. Got to leave the abs alone and the back of your knee. So I've got another hint for you here. If you're looking to get back on track, maybe you got a, you're going to run a 5K this fall. There's a lot of races or you want to get back into the gym. A good place to start is at AID, Performance Physical Therapy. We offer free discovery sessions. You can come in. Let them know that you saw me on this video. We'll offer you a free discovery session where you can meet with me or Tyler uh, and discuss what your plans are and how we can help you to get back into shape and teach you, give you a routine how to get back so you don't get hurt and you wind up here in the first place. So you come in, 
We'll get you running through some exercises to determine where your areas of weaknesses are, where you have muscles that need to be stretched or foam rolled out, teach you proper form, give you a home program that you can then take to the gym and get back on to your merry way. We can also get you running properly, standing properly by doing our postural or video analysis. Uh, direct access, you don't need an authorization from a doctor, you don't need a prescription from a doctor. You can come in without a prescription from them. You can come see us for 30 days. We can work on you, no problem. If you want to know more about this, give us a call, 703-723-6758 if you're interested. So stay tuned for more back to school lessons. Uh, I have some more lessons coming up. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.